What's up with my Taurus out there? We're going to do you guys next. Um, let's see this fucking energy here. Ah, shit. How the fuck are you going to be misleading like that? You going forward with fucking passion, but you still fucking guarded. Like, I get it. I do. Oh, shit. What kind of communication is there? There's either some coming in or some coming out. Mm. It puts you on the fucking defense. It makes your guard just like that fucking wall. It's just done. I understand, like, people fucking get up to that wall and fucking... You sitting there building behind it, right? Yeah. Guarded against possibly a fire sign. Oh, shit. Somebody not making a choice? Who they want to be with? That's why you're guarded. You want to move forward, but you can't right now. Do some flip-flopping in this bitch. Alright, let's get into your story. This could be for you. It could be for anybody. Like, that is weighing heavily on your mind. This is the non-committal card. This is a player card. This is feeling like you have passion. But you are kind of being playful about that passion. Enough to word it. If a good thing came in, you wouldn't be able to realize it. This is you having your guard up at the same time. Anyways, what I was saying. This could be for you. It could be the person that's weighing heavily on your mind. It can be for some family member, a friend, anything of that sort. But this is that non-committal energy that you are kind of guarded about, man. Uh, either that or you're, like, got your guards up. People who only want sex from you. Yeah, you've had some form of enlightenment and you're about to travel. This is moving forward. This is, um, okay, I also see if you had car issues, you finally got them up and running and fucking, yeah. You want a commitment or somebody wants to commit to you? There you go. You're guarded at the same time. You don't want to fucking do it. But you do. But you don't. So you're keeping an eye on people. You're trying to go around it. Like at the same time. You could be driving past people's houses. Um, not saying that in a creepy way. But like hey. Here I am. I just saw you. So are you going to message me. Type of stuff. And tell me that you saw me too. Type of thing. This isn't like the crazy fucking stalker vibe, but there is, okay, maybe it is. This is either you getting over a heartbreak, so you are severely guarded. This is like having harsh communication. This is no communication at all. Yeah, but you might not be speaking to someone because you're heartbroken, and you're not tell it exactly telling this person how much it hurt you you're keeping it to yourself and that will eat your shit alive it really will yeah i understand that not everybody needs that fucking closure but at the same time are you gonna forgive you for putting up with it like that are you gonna forgive others for doing this like, if this isn't you, you're trying to drop your defenses at the same time. Damn. Some fell out first. Sorry. Oh, shit. This is being generous. This is feeling heartbroken. So you give to people who you feel need it. You are giving out your energy, your time, because... Something didn't go right in your life. Yeah. Broken home. Conflict. Competition. You're guarded to someone because there's more to this. 
either that or they were given to too many people. So you decided that, hey, this ain't worth it. I don't need to talk to you. I don't need to move forward with you. You broke me. You really deeply fucking broke me because this is in the upright. Like, in the reverse, I take it as, like, a slight heartbreak, but you're getting over it. This is, I'm still guarded. I'm still pissed. Sorry. Yeah. Still guarded. Still pissed. I won't lose sleep over this. And I won't talk to you. Because I'm moving forward to my wish fulfillment. This is the kind of mindset that you're in right now. Like, you might not have a happy home with this person, but you're moving forward. And I respect that. And possibly with a fire sign, either that or you're coming into this inner, your feminine side energy where, hey, I'm getting attention. I got this freaking confidence level up on the high. I'm freaking sexy as fuck. You might be sleeping too much because you're in that depressed state of mind. Let's get into your person. I'm kind of curious because you're coming out of this. Like, a, at one point you need a closure. You kind of, you're hurt. You're guarded. So all you want is this non-committal energy. Sorry. And I don't know if you're making that known right now or not. But... I have a feeling people can tell it in your demeanor. Four of Wands. That could have to deal with a home situation. Your person is coming out of it. They have gone within. They have looked at themselves in the fucking mirror. This is seeing the good, the bad, the ugly. I see myself. I know myself. I know what I do wrong. I know what I do right. And this is them coming out of that. Yeah, let's cut the bullshit for a minute. Yeah, I'm not waiting on you. So this person might have hurt you. Stop. You're fine. This person might have hurt you. And they don't really realize to the extent that... Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, sorry for the interruption, but they don't realize how bad they hurt you. Like, you were to the point of saying, fuck it. This is saying, fuck it all over it. Like, I know my worth. I know how I work. And I'm going forward. I get it. This person doesn't realize that. Either that or they realize it and they're moving forward too. Like they've realized what kind of mindset you're in now because they hurt you. So it's getting to the point where, yeah, they're keeping an eye on you. But at the same time, they're not waiting on you. Okay, let's get more into your person. Lovers. It's all because they couldn't make a decision. And they're, yeah, not making a decision. Put them out in the cold. And I believe this is what they're starting to realize. And whenever they come to come back at you, you're in this non-committal energy. Like, I am worth more than this. I don't need to put myself in this situation anymore. Because I deserve someone who's decisive. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're the wish fulfillment. They might not be talking to you. You could be dealing with an air sign. This fucker keeps on spinning around. So yeah, definite indecisive energy. Anyways, they've pulled back. Yeah. You are their wish fulfillment. And they are trying to work on themselves. So they've realized what their flaw of faults were. This could be an air sign in their masculine energy, male or female. It doesn't matter which one. You could have stopped communicating with this person. Either that or there's some off communication. Like as in you guys can't 
speak to each other without arguing. Um, they see you as this is. They see you as hurting, and I believe they see the situation behind it too. Like I don't think they knew that you knew. Because right here, it's how you feel about them. It's like they were given to too many people. Possibly because of their confidence. Like they thought they had the world and they lost the moon while counting the stars. You know what I mean? And right now, there's no communication because it's like they're not communicating either. Alright. Get more... What else? Yeah, there's going to be communication about this, though. This is... It's quick communication. Like, once they figure out their own toxic behaviors, they're going to move forward. And move forward fast. You might be moving forward in your life. Like, hey, I'm done with this shit. Like, you hurt me. I don't want to go back. And that made them stop. I feel like stopping dead in your tracks is what I kind of feel here, too. Like, they figured it out. Like, this is an epiphany. Like, I figured out that I fucked up. Wasn't Taurus. But either you were given to too many people or they were. And somebody's broken over this. Like, but somebody real also realizes what the fuck was going on. Like, what their issue was. Like, how deep this actually fucking went. And they might not be communicating about it, but this is karma. This is full on karma. They realize their own toxic behavior. I believe that there might be an apology coming. You might not be talking right now. And, but it's coming, yeah. Death and ending. This is also a transformation. So this person, they're going to come in and either they're going to apologize or they're going to try changing their behavior or change their behavior. This is an ending to a way of being. And here's their tower. Yeah. Yeah. And it all came from somebody walking away, saying, I'm done. I can't. Like, I'd rather be by myself right now. Because this is too much. Maybe silence is golden, right? Alright, let's see the mixed energies between you guys. What are the mixed energies? For both sides. Okay. These came out pretty close together. Yeah. Taking a break. Because there's either new love coming in. Or they're coming in with a new offer. They want to rest. Recuperate. Get their fucking mind right. Because this is what they're going through right now. Either them or you. And vice versa. They know that you guys need a break. Yeah. Because right now... Everybody is feeling insecure. Nobody is seeing the good in a situation. But give it time. Give it space. Rest. Like how... No more sleepless nights here? Yeah. Get a full night's sleep. Sleep it off. Come back the next day with better enlightenment. Because... This person might have actually realized that they were the problem. And they might be coming back to tell you that. Yeah, because... Oh, here, hold on. Let me flip this. Yeah. It's not moving forward. Because they haven't taken that action. Whether this is new and new. New passion. This is uh, you guys both sleeping with people or sleeping with each other. And this is feeling 
a new type of enlightenment at the same time. Divine timing, this is karma written all over it. Like, maybe they karma hit because they stepped out of the relationship. Maybe they went for a new love and now they're recuperating for that. Um, it could be you being in this player energy and that passion is what's stopping this uh, wheel from moving forward. This is both of you guys. Either way, you guys are really insecure about each other. But distance is fucking two cards of karma. Like seriously, somebody is receiving karma. And I have a feeling it's you, Taurus. Is there's your card you're committed to yourself this is you not letting this person back in possibly even going for new love and that reality check is your karma whether or not it could be court case all this kind of bullshit as well but I feel like you're committed to yourself and you're going to take this new passion at the beginning. The wheel isn't turning on this situation because you want that new love. That is, This could be both of you guys. Like you guys are in the same mindset. Like okay this one got hurt. This one's guarded. This one doesn't want, uh, like, want anything serious now because they got hurt. This one's realizing they fucked up. And there's probably no coming back from it. And they might actually talk to you about it, give some sort of fucking closure. Either that or they're communicating. The way they communicate is toxic. And they might just be putting an end to that. But you guys are committed to yourselves. There's no happy family. Um, both of you guys have made a decision to move forward. You might be in your head about it. But, yeah, releasing one no longer serves you. Being in that Empress energy, that way you can have a happy, stable relationship later on down the road. But there's still going to be these insecurities from this relationship, whatever this relationship is. Alright, guys. You guys have a good day.